Hey guys! Welcome to the Justice Club, this is Chris here. And check out this awesome mic. Look at it. Look at it. It's awesome. Holy crap, is it awesome. And uh also Mic check. Holy crap, this is loud. I shouldn't be this close to the mic, but I am anyway. Sorry. Anyway, um, so today we've got for you guys, you, all of you lovers, Jack and Dexter. Well, not Jack and Dexter, but Jack 2. Um, it's the, uh, prequel, no, well, no, we'll get to that later in the series, um, it is the sequel to Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy, and, um, as far as all the Jack and Daxter games, it's quite possibly my favorite, um, <coughs> like, uh, Jack and Dexter has its moments, like, with all the eco and all that, but, um, it, it's nothing compared to this. Like, the fighting style is fantastic. Like, they use the same. For every age, oh. there is a time of trial. Fuck. The rocks faced such a fire before they were the strength beneath our feet. The plants braved vast winds before their roots could give us life. As a sage of considerable years, I have known only one such great ordeal. Yet the hero it created was a champion for all time. Today's the big day, Jack. I hope you are prepared for whatever happens. I think I figured out most of this machine. It interacts somehow with that large precursor ring. I just hope he didn't break anything moving it here to the lab. Easy for you to say. We did all the heavy lifting. Dexter, don't touch anything. Though the precursors vanished long ago, the artifacts they left behind can still do great harm. Or great good, if you figure out how to use them. I've had some experience with such things. I know you can make it work. Looks like Jack still got the mojo. Interesting. It appears to be reading out some preset coordinates. Wow. What's freaky shit going down? Those would be metalheads. This is how it happened. Uh, that, that was the point. Practice Samos said so that's how it happened. Point for later. Remember that. Well, there you go, Daxter, you're off. Wait, did he just say find yourself? I'm fairly certain he just said find yourself. Okay, I swear. That's the last time I ever, ever touch any stupid precursor. No, it's not. Move in. Step away from the animal. Forget the rat. The Baron wants him. We've been waiting for you. Don't worry. Why? Me. I'll save you before you know it. Two years. Two years. Injection cycle complete. Bio readings nominal and unchanged. 
nothing. I was informed that this one might be different. He is surprisingly resistant to your experiments, Baron Praxis. I fear the Dark Warrior program has failed. Uh, you should at least be dead with all the Dark Eco I pumped into you. What now? Metalhead armies are pressing their attacks. Without a new weapon, my men cannot hold them off forever. I will not be remembered as the man who lost this city to those vile creatures. Move forward with a final plan. And finish off this thing tonight. What a day. As you wish. I'll be back later. Ding, ding, third floor. Body chains, roach food, torture devices. Hey, buddy. You seen any heroes around here? Oh, no. yeah. What would they do to you? Jack, it's me, Daxter. That's a fine hello. I've been crawling around in this place, risking my tail, literally, to save you. I've been looking for you for two years. Say something just this once. I'm going to kill Praxis. What? That, that's quite a thing to say right when you wake up. <laughs> Jack, easy now. Easy, buddy. It's it's your old pal Daxter, remember? <laughs> Badass Jack. What the heck was that? Sheesh. Remind me not to piss you off. Come on, tall, dark, and gruesome. We're out of here. And now for the tutorial. Hey, I brought you some new thread. Put them on. Yep. So, I don't know how much, exactly how much, uh, commentary I'll have for this gameplay. Yes, I remember how to jump. Fucking... Please tell me you remember how to roll. Yes. There's an escape in progress. Ooh, that's a high ledge. Try jumping once. Double jump. Jump again while in the air to reach that one. There are lots of crimson guard crates lying around for the taking. Break that crate. But I, I do really like this game because, mostly because you are in a restricted city. It introduced on high alert. like it, it took it took what Jack and Daxter had and introduced the new concept of the the whole dark ego thing. Which I thought was Actually, pretty cool. Plus, it gave Jack a voice. Like, hold on a sec. I need to, uh. Well, I can turn off vibration. I don't really need that. But, I need graphics. So. Okay, that's kind of sucks. But yeah, like the the fact that it kept a lot of the same shit as the first game. But then also improved on it. Is, no, I, I just think it's absolutely great. Surrender yourself. You are under arrest. You can get a little jump by rolling into it. There we go. Uh, we have movement on level one. I say that way too much. There we go. Oh, okay. 
That was kind of all over the place. So let's the camera. There we go. Of his majesty, Baron Praxis, the ruler guess? of glorious okay. Avon City. I was just a guest in the good Baron's prison. Inside a cell or inside the city, walls surround us both. We are all his prisoners. Talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I, I'd move on, if I were you. By order of his eminence, the Grand Protector of Haven City, Baron Praxis, everyone in this section is hereby under arrest for suspicion of harboring underground fugitives. Surrender and die. Uh, excuse me, sir. Don't you mean surrender or die? <laughs> Not in this city. Protect us from these guards, and I'll introduce you to someone who can help you. And then I go full fucking big shit. See, this is what I like about it. The fact that. Yeah. That. That is what I like. Something's. To me. Something he did. I can't control. Yes, you can! Okay, Jack. What you just did was very brave. This child is important. This kid? He looks kind of scruffy. You are in a restricted zone. Move along. Oh no! For your help, but I really care get about that. For safety. Hey, what about us? There is an underground group waging war against Baron Praxis. Its leader, the Shadow, could use fighters like you. Go to the slums. Find a dead end alley near the city wall. Ask for Torn. He can help you. Okay. And then there's also, you know, the fact that you have fucking flying vehicles. Follow the icons on the map to reach important destinations. Welcome to the city transportation system. Like, seriously, flying vehicle. I, I love it. Now, like I said, I know I won't have enough of a lot of commentary. This series, but just the fact of this game, like, I, I will give it a lot of praise because of how much I like the game. Oh, for a guy named Torn, Cor sent us. Um, are you Torn? 
Maybe this guy's a new, like you used to be. New faces make me nervous. Word is you're out to join the fight for this city. You know, How'd you find that out already? Could be unhealthy. We want to see the shadow. <laughs> Not likely. If you want to join something, why don't you and your pet go join the circus? <laughs> Unless you've got the fur for a really tough task. Why? Take banner from the top of the ruined tower and bring it back to me. Then maybe we'll. How is that a tough task? All I have to do is basically steal a flag. Doesn't seem very tough. Out of my way! God damn it. Shit. It's a little bit more sturdy. Slower. But at least it's sturdy. Um, there is one thing I do also kind of like about this game, and it's the fact that it almost, like it almost resembles GTA in a way, but it also kind of doesn't. I don't know, it, it's weird. Um, but after I do this, I will probably leave this episode here. I'll try to get the banner. Just because, it, like, this episode's been going on for a bit longer than I liked it to. And I figured the first episode was going to be longer anyway. So, I don't know. That and uh, it looks like my camera battery is running low ish. So, don't want to die in the middle of the recording, right? That would be. That would be the sun. Got the damn thing. It's right there. Oh, yeah. Jack and Dax are one reference. Boom. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't do that. Woo! And, uh, I guess you guys are in. Kind of brought the building down with it. Sorry. Anyway, uh, with that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one here. Um, uh, I know this episode was. Uh, a little bit longer, but with the first episode of every series, I think we need to go back to the city, Jack. You know, you have you, you have all the um, decontamination complete. All like 
all the tutorial and all of the you know opening cutscenes. And you got to fit the within the song. You just got it. So uh, I'll head back to Torn real quick and then leave this episode here for you guys. So Oh, I just picked up some cops. <laughs> Let's uh, trigger the cutscene so the cops, uh, cops go away. Or, you can even just like enter a building. Does the cop don't know where he went? Woo! Being a big hero! Sure makes you thirsty. And you're drinking shit. Liquid he turned shit. Off all water to the slums. He's willing to sacrifice innocent lives just to destroy the underground. I shouldn't be surprised. I've seen his evil before while serving in the Crimson Guard. That's why I quit. You were a Crimson Guard? <laughs> oh. That explains your charming sense of humor. <laughs> a friend in the guard tells me the valve to turn the water back on is located outside the city, at the pumping station. Outside the city? What about the security walls? What about the metalheads? There ain't no petting zoo out there. Peeps be getting deep sexed. Find the large drain pipe in the north wall. It'll take you outside the city to the pumping station. Get to the main valve and open it. If you survive, the slums will be indebted to you. If not, maybe we'll have a touching moment of silence in your honor. Hey, I'd like to give him a touching moment. No, you say that as if he's not standing right there. Really, like... Okay. So, that'll do it for this episode. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!